Hi guys! It's been a while since my last video, uh, and I just kind of felt like making one. Pinterest is actually the reason that I'm making this video today. Um, I saw a really cool pin, kind of a do-it-yourself idea, that I thought would be fun to make for my friend Lindy and her husband Bobby for their Christmas present. Um, it's basically a canvas with crayons, and the crayons are melted down the length of the canvas, which I thought was just really cool, and they like really bright colors and a whole bunch of stuff and really neat stuff like that, so it's perfect for them. So what you're going to need for this canvas is a box of crayons, and I bought the 64 count box of crayons because I'm doing a big canvas rather than a smaller one. Uh, this is a piece for their home. I'm thinking they're probably going to hang it in either their uh, living room or their front room. Uh, you will also need uh, some kind of adhesive. I chose to use original tacky glue. Uh, you will need a hair dryer. It's my cute little hair dryer. And a canvas. And as you can see, I've already glued my crayons to the canvas. I This is a 16 by 20 size, which I thought was a good size for where I think they're going to hang this. Um, I went ahead and glued because I didn't think you'd want to watch a video of me just gluing crayons to canvas or watching glue dry. Um, the really cool thing is um, there were a couple of messy spots in between the crayons uh, whenever I did this, um, but they've dried clear, which uh, I was very happy with. Um, now whenever I glued these down, I put a line down the back of the crayon of the first one here and then on the second one in each of the following crayons I did one long line and then I did a little dab of glue to attach it to the crayon next to it also uh, just so it would be a little bit more secure and now let's get to our next part Okay, there is one more thing that you're going to want that I kind of forgot to mention. You're going to want either a, a piece of plastic drop cloth like this or maybe a sheet or an old throw rug that you don't mind getting melted crayon on um, because this is going to get a little messy. So I'm going to put this underneath the easel and then we'll get started. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the hair dryer and I'm going to turn it on high and just kind of ho hold it against the crayons uh, and until they start melting. Um, so, let's go. So I am just so excited with how this turned out. I think my friends Lindy and Bobby are really going to love this and I can't wait to see where they put it in their home. Uh, total time on this project, it took me about 45 minutes me actually doing stuff. I spent 30 minutes gluing crayons and 15 minutes actually using the hair dryer to melt the crayons. Uh, you will need probably at least an hour to let the glue dry once you glue the crayons on the canvas. Um, I honestly, I do wait at least two hours. I waited overnight, I let it just kind of sit there because I didn't have time to do it yesterday. But I'm not an artist, I'm kind of an arts and craftsy person, I like knitting and crocheting and occasionally I make cards, random cards and send them to my friends because we like snail mail. But uh, you can definitely do this at home. And I'll be trying to post more videos of arts and crafts type stuff because I'm doing a lot of it now. It's Christmas time and that's what I do. And hopefully it won't take me so long in between videos this time around. Um, I'm going to try and post more, I promise. So on that note, I will see you later. Bye.